mass is conserved. So if you have some net inflow in the region of some substance, then either its density or volume fraction needs to increase. The conservation of mass can be expressed using a partial differential equation relating the Darcy velocity, density and the saturations. In this video you will see how. So what do we have? We have some region in space V and some uh, UW Darcy velocity say flowing through all six boundaries. Uh, fluid is for example water is flowing out of this region V. Now we call the SW the water saturation inside our volume V, rho W density of water, UW so this Darcy this volumetric velocity that's all about the water and the region <coughs> uh, V has some porosity phi. Now let's see what happens if we write down the mass balance. Well what's the total amount of mass of water in, in the region V? Well how much space do we have? Well we have porosity times SW that's a fraction of total space we have available for water. So what's our mass? That's this fraction times density of water in kilogram per cubic meter times volume. So we have to integrate with respect to vo the volume. So that's the, our total mass inside our uh, volume V. Now what's then the rate of change of this mass, the MDT? Uh, well, we take a constant volume V, so that means that you can take the DDT inside the integral, so you just get the DDT of phi times rho times SW. Okay, that's the rate of change of the mass inside our V. Now this uh, mass loss or gain uh, has to uh, go via the six boundaries. So uh, we compute the mass outflow. So that's the surface integral through S of uh, well your volumetric velocity in meter uh, per second times your density in kilogram per cubic meter. So you get kilogram per, uh, per square meter. You integrate with respect to S to get kilograms. So here you have your outflow, which is the surface integral, which goes now through your six surfaces. Now, this has to balance, of course. Uh, the uh, rate of change in kilograms per second has to balance your outflow in kilograms per second. Uh, so now we have some horrible integral equation, but now we can simplify it. First of all, we can use the divergence theorem on the right hand side. Well, the divergence theorem tells you that the surface integral of some vector field in uh, surface equals the uh, volume integral over the divergence of the vector field. So we keep the right hand side and from the left hand side we get the divergence of rho times uw over here. Now then we have two volume integrals, so we can turn them into one volume integral by taking this one to the left hand side and its volume integral has to be equal to zero. Now this has to be this integral has to be zero for any volume you take, so independent of volume, and that only happens if this integrand is everywhere zero. So then we get the equation over here. That's the PDE that expresses our conservation of mass in a general form. Now often your porosity will be constant unless you're deforming your rock, but for many applications your porosity is constant, so you can take it out. So it goes in front. Uh, then we are in this form, that's how derivation often derivation often start. And if you are using water or oil, something like that, you often can neglect the density variations, you often can uh, model them as incompressible. So that means that both uh, that uh, uh, both d rho w dt and the spatial derivatives of rho w are zero. So you can take out the rho w's and then you uh, can uh, cancel them out. So and then you are left with the, the uh, easier PDE, phi times d s dt minus divergence of u equals zero. And that's the PDE that expresses our uh, mass conservation.